What's going on, beautiful people? Just a quick little video. Mr. R. Kelly, he won't be flying anywhere anytime soon. So those of you who watched the news, heard the news, he got uh, caught up, got actually uh, convicted for 30 years, right? Now, I'm not gonna go into the details of the charges because y'all know YouTube has found every possible way to demonetize anything and almost everything you do for them, right? So, um, by the way, YouTube, y'all better change y'all policies because a lot of people are not making content anymore because y'all cutting down on the money that y'all paying out. We're paying that much in the first place, but it's making even less, so it's not worth your time. So anyway, back to the main thing, the main thing. That's another video, right? 30 years, 30 years, R. Kelly. Um, you know, some may say the chickens have come home to roost. Some may say what's done in the dark uh, always comes to the light. Others may say that, hey, it's just another example of the white man keeping the black man down. I was actually in the barbershop the other day. Yes, I was. And um, very heated discussion. Man, those barbershop conversations are wild, right? So the conversation was about R. Kelly being... First of all, it went way left because the guy started talking about the Illuminati. You know, he didn't pay his Illuminati dues. So therefore, that's why he got caught up, right? Then the conversation went, well, just an example of the white man keeping the black man down. You know, my Muslim brother, as he came in selling some bean pies. Then, of course, the other side, the rational thinking people like myself said, hey, what's done in the dark eventually comes in the light, right? And the thing with Mr. Kelly is that, hey, buddy, Going back to Aaliyah, you've been doing this for a long time. It is unfortunate to see someone of his stature and success, something happen to that to that person. You know, there's a sadness on one hand, but on the other hand, you did the crime, and guess what? You got to do the time. Old Beretta theme song, right? And um, just, just think of the millions. Just think of how successful and to allow that thing within him to cause him to get caught up like that. Just horrible. So what do you all think? Do you think it's an example of the chicken coming home to roost? You know, he got to pay the price uh, for what he did. Or you think it's just a conspiracy as far as the man keeping the black man down. Just another black man being torn down, you know? Um, y'all know how I feel about it. Look. The boy is sick. Now, why he was sick was because something that was done to him and he's repeating it. Okay, I mean, regardless, people like that don't need to be on the streets. Now, here's a question. Is he the only one that's going to get locked up? Because there's a whole lot of people that were involved in this thing to make it happen and fly. He didn't do it by himself. He can't read, right? Even starting with the doggone parents who actually took their children to him, right? Aren't they culpable as well? Did I use that word right? Aren't they somewhat responsible for what happened? Hello? Can I get an amen on that? But it should be interesting to see. Look, 30 years, I'm 55. I think R. Kelly is about my age, 55, 56, 60. We're about the same age. 30 years, man, that's a life sentence. That's 80. 80. And no money, he's broke. Just another black man in prison. Sad to see, sad to see, sad to see. What y'all been doing? Good to see y'all. Everybody been all right? I've been working, man. Been working, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Question of the day. Robin, where am I? Give you a hint. We're in Warren. I probably shouldn't have this camera out like this, all right? We're in Warren. It's at one of the automobile factory's main places, right? All these windows. Y'all been drinking y'all water? Hey, watch out for that doggone circle thing, all right? That's just water with sugar added to it. If you go add sugar to it, why, did, why drink it in the first place, right? Drink straight up water, y'all, all right? Those of you in the other sector. Hey, love to hear what y'all think. Um, I'm at the four minute mark. R. Kelly. Tragic, tragic, tragic situation for all involved, including the victims. There were victims, y'all. There are victims. There are people whose lives will never be the same, who got caught up whether seeking fame, success, fortune, and um, 
sad situation. He's going to have a hard time in the, in the pokey. You know he is, right? Don't got the money to protect him. He's going to be singing. He's going to be singing for... <laughs> he, he ain't got the money for protection, right? And let's face it, when you get locked up, so I'm told, don't know from personal experience, so I'm told, though, that um, those type of uh, incidents... See, I got to watch them more. I got to watch my words, right? Those type of incidents you get locked up for your fellow uh, inmates aren't friendly towards you on there, right? They're not friendly at all. So he's got a long road to go. And um, what a tragedy. What a tragedy, man. You know what did it for him now? That doggone documentary. Man, actually, he did it to himself. But that docu documentary um, reopened people's interests. Uh, especially because of the pattern in practice. Oh, now here's another thing though. I really, really, really believe this. If R. Kelly was messing with young white girls, it would not have went on this long. I really believe that in my heart. Now I don't want to make everything racial, all right? But it is quite often. I think he would have been stopped a long time ago. There's a whole different standard, right? Depending on the victim and the color. Hell, they're still are they still looking for that um, Joan Renee Lee, Lee Ramsey girl and her? I mean, they did that for like thirty years. But let that be a little brown girl, black girl. You don't have the interest, you know. Anyway, let me hear what y'all think. I'll be back once things slow down with the business out here working, making that money, and uh, we'll be back for more videos. Hey, y'all want to lose weight? Here's a secret on how to lose weight. Go to work. Turn the camera off. Go to work. It's amazing. Drink water. It's amazing. And stay off those diet pills. Stay off those diet pills, doggone it. Are you crazy? I'm just saying. Later, folks. Y'all have a good one. Live, love, laugh. Love yourself. Be nice to others. Have a nice day. And maybe I'll see you around the way. All right, Robin, here we go. GM Tech Center, Warren, Michigan. Booyah. Later. See if they can give me one of those caddies. One of those Escalades.